So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, you missed the beginning of Lent, the journey of Lent. You missed not one but two prayers of confession and a chance to talk a bit about confession, that confession is not necessarily a laundry list of, of everything we've ever done wrong and why we're so horrible and therefore God is so wonderful for loving us even in the midst of our horribleness. But in fact, a chance for us to examine our lives, recognize where we're not who we want to be, where we have missed our aspirations. We've failed to live up to our ideals and our hopes. And in realizing we can't do it alone, recognizing that we're not alone, that in fact, God is present with us. Confession helps us become more aware, not of how terrible we are, but how present God is. And in fact, the most sincere and shortest prayer of confession might simply be, God, we can't do this alone. Help us. We shared that prayer today. Leanne spent some time with us as well, introducing mindfulness, a worthy pursuit for Lent, a chance to, to sit in our bodies, quiet our minds, become aware of of ourselves internally and externally, where we sit, how we sit, to feel our bodies, but then also to, to feel those thoughts as they pass by, to, to hold those thoughts, release them, refocus. Embrace the thought, release, and refocus. We just spent five minutes doing that, but it may well be a practice that many of us will spend much more time on throughout Lent and maybe beyond, becoming aware of ourselves, becoming aware of God's presence, mindfulness. And then we heard the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, the eating of the apple. And we recognize that we often avoid that story because we don't want the world to think of us as being unscientific, as if we we're afraid of science or that we won't embrace evolution or the evidence all around us. But in fact, we miss out on something when we stay away from the Genesis story. The story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden doesn't tell us much about how we came to be, but tells us so much about how we are in relationship to each other, how we are in relationship to God. How we are is, well, as Eve takes that apple and eats from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, that's the moment for humanity to become moral agents. We recognize that we get to decide what's right and what's wrong, what's good and what's evil. We don't decide alone. We decide perhaps in partnership with God or, or with other faiths or with the broader community. But we have become moral agents, no longer relying on, on, a, on a God, a, a parenting God who takes care of every little thing. And having embraced the responsibility of recognizing good and evil, right and wrong, and, and the responsibility of supporting what is right and, and, and somehow thwarting what is wrong, we recognize there's no room left for us in the garden. And so we graduate from the garden, much the way that we graduated from public school when there was no room for us there anymore. Our, our, our minds, our experiences, our responsibilities had grown. Eventually, we find ourselves moved out of school into the world. Humanity moved out of the garden and into the world. And it comes with struggles and pain and difficulty, as the story suggests. But God does not abandon us. God did not abandon Adam and Eve. God continues to, to support. But respects us as moral agents and so responds more quickly to invitation becomes partner as we decide instead of being told what is right and wrong we are given all sorts of resources to decide for ourselves but outside of the garden we can no longer wring our hands and wonder why god hasn't fixed this or why god isn't doing that in fact we have to hold not God accountable, but hold ourselves accountable as well. When things have gone wrong, where were we? And what will our response be? 
because we're now moral agents. We get to decide what's right, what's wrong, what's good, and what's evil, and we get to follow what is good, support what is right. And so we begin Lent. And that's what you missed with us today at Jubilee. I hope you don't miss us next week. I hope we don't miss you. God bless.